For William Burke Hare, being an astronaut was something larger than life. Little did he know the journey to discovering his career would start as a 13-year-old at space camp. From the multi-axis trainer, to the one six gravity chair, to the manned maneuvering unit, Burke knew this place was different. He knew he was experiencing something he'd never forget for the rest of his life. As a matter of fact, he now looks back and says it was during his first trip to space camp that he knew he was making decisions that would take his dreams and turn them into reality. If you talk to Burke, he'll tell you one of the most amazing things about camp was the opportunity to sit at the feet of men like Dr. George von Tiesenhausen and Conrad Dannenberg. Burke's greatest excitement was to actually get his hands on equipment, something he could touch, feel, real space technology that he could work with and learn on. Burke came back in 1992 to work at Space Camp. He helped in both camp and aviation challenge programs. That desire to learn led him on a path to Auburn University, where he received his degree in political science, then his master's degree at the University of North Dakota. Then it was off to Squadron Officer School, the Air Command and Staff College, Joint Forces Staff College, and the Air War College. Burke's career goals followed the path he began at Space Camp and Aviation Challenge. He was all about the equipment in his early days of learning and his career, something those closest to him quickly noticed. Colonel Ralph Bryson was his supervisor at Space Camp and Aviation Challenge while Burke was an employee. If there's any one person who epitomizes the military and the desire to be the best and focused from day one, it's Burke Hare. Today, you can find Burke Hare on the front line of opportunity. He is Deputy Chief Cyberspace Operations Division for Headquarters Air Force Space Command. His list of assignments and achievements are a mile long, but he'll tell you that mile began when he took the first step onto the Space Camp Training Center floor. Ladies and gentlemen, we proudly add the name to our Space Camp Hall of Fame, Lieutenant Colonel William Burke Hare, the third.